And what I just said about ISPE applies equally well to ASTD, uh, formerly the American Society for Training and Development. Very much a, an association aimed at, at folks in, in the field of training. But a lot of instructional technologists uh, participate in ISB and ASTD uh, activities. I'll bet uh, at least a few folks in the class are already members of ISTE, the International Society for Technology and Education. Its focus is very much on the use of computer technologies in K-12 education. They have uh, some good journals, and they also have a tremendous conference now called uh, just ISTE plus the, the year. So the next conference is called ISTE 2012. I'll bet some of you have been to an ISTE conference before. They may have something like 10,000 people attend their, their, uh, their annual conference. But besides the, the huge conference, and the good journals. ISTE is well known for its promulgation of the National Educational Technology Standards. And there are three sets. We can see in these illustrations at the top of the slide. There's the standards for students, for teachers, and administrators. In this way, ISTE makes an important contribution to the field of instructional technology generally, but educational computing more narrowly. Gang, thanks for taking the time to watch and listen to this brief presentation about professional association. It really was just a brief overview. There are many associations in our field, and I've touched on only a few of them. If you have information you'd like to share about another professional association in our field, the uh, discussion area for this class session would be a great place to post that information. You are welcome to choose any professional association related to the field of instructional technology or educational technology for your activity one. You're not limited to the six associations that I've talked about. This is just a, a place to, a way to get you started. If you want to choose one of these associations, great. But if you'd like to choose another one, that's just fine too. Remember to receive credit for enduring this session. Please post your reflections about the session to our discussion area, or if you prefer, uh, send me an email via Blackboard email. As always, if you have questions about any aspect of our course, don't hesitate to contact me by email or even better by telephone. Thanks, gang. Don't hesitate to call by email or even better by telephone. See, 30 years from now we'll be saying the same thing when we're doing our lessons.